we is today. I feel like this is his pet name for his junk. I really feel like that's Bill Dance's pet name for his junk and he just put it on <laughs> his product. Oh my gosh, I'm right by that bluegill. Oh, oh, oh! There he is! No! Yeah, baby! Totally yes! My yes! No, no, yes! No. I got it, I got it, I got it. It's a brim! <laughs> You lost. The brim. You lost. Well, one to one now on the challenges. Yo, what's poppin', people? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you've been enjoying the content. Today, we got an interesting one. Got Big Steve. Hashtag bring that back. You know what's up. So we got Big Steve out today. What is your idea? for today's video like what do you we're kind of rolling with it we're about to we're outside of walmart actually so if you had any ideas what do you think would be the juice today guess we're gonna go in here and see if we can find something that's creepy crawly and living we're gonna throw something on a bobber today so old, school. Live bait. old see, school see we filmed a bunch of live bait videos last year they were a lot of fun and it's been a while since we filmed one so i was like you know what maybe we should do that today but we don't know exactly what they're going to have inside of walmart i don't know if they're going to have like the glow worms or the regular night crawlers maybe even some crickets they gotta have a bunch of different stuff you guys are wondering why i'm using this too it's like a little microphone what do you think about that <laughs> speaking to the mic you know what i'm saying look at this got the a-dub merch, a merch on what's up got the big bass energy merch I on i expect a like and a share you hear me what's up yeah bring it on so anyways wait Hey, another thing what do you want to say to the youtube guys There's go more. check out my new youtube channel i'm gonna put the link in the comments below you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah go subscribe to his new youtube channel he's starting to vlog and make videos as you guys can tell he's got his little gopro right there so yeah go down below subscribe to his youtube show some love but anyways we're gonna go ahead and get inside of walmart see what they got go ahead and get everything that we need for today go back to the lake catch some fish it's gonna be a good time Let's get it. Walmart time. I have yet to really go film any like Walmart and Academy videos or like Dick Sporting Goods or like Bass Pro. Ever since this, you know, whole thing hit, I'm not going to say the word because I think they'll demonetize me, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I haven't really been going in the stores much, but should we go in here like this? Just like that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> It's got the style ready to go in right there now adobe's merch is all special <laughs> for it but yeah this is gonna be fun we're gonna see what we got there's actually a ton of people out today there's a lot of people outside it's actually a beautiful day outside too it's not too cold or not too too cold it's not too hot it feels perfect this door is closed please use our grocery entrance and exit why we park down here then uh yeah i don't know losers anything else you want to say to the camera since you haven't like been on the vlog in a while yeah hashtag bring dad back daddy van Dam. you know what i'm saying you guys got to pop in these comments you got to share the old man some love so the boy will come home and take me fishing because i haven't been fishing in like three months i don't even know if i can spell fish anymore so there's a lot of people watching right now that don't even know like they probably haven't even seen you in the videos anything you want to say to them well first crawl out from underneath your rock <laughs> And check out Big Steve. You ain't seen me in the videos. You just aren't living yet. You know what I'm saying? So I just love it when my son comes home. He takes me fishing. I just try to have some fun. I know I come off a little crazy, but I'm just out here having a good time, you know? All right, so we just made it inside the fiction. We just made it inside the fish. Yeah, lemon pepper? Yeah, that's lemon pepper, man. Yeah, that's lemon pepper. You guys already know the old juicy lemon pepper. Brings back the days and <laughs> catches the fish. So there's one thing I noticed when we walked in here. I haven't been in this Walmart in a while and they totally changed it around. Over there is where they got all the ammo and everything. And then they have this fishing. Oh, they have changed. Yeah, they changed it completely, dude. Completely. So they got the baseball cleats right next to the fish and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just in case you got to fish and run. Look at this, dude. I kind of like that reel. It looks pretty clean. It's the white and the green. Xfinity. Carrot stick? No. No, that's a Berkeley oh, rod. Berkeley. We got all the baits down here, but I don't know if we're going to be doing, you know, like I said, we need to find the live bait. That's the biggest thing, but there's a lot sold out. That's one thing during this whole, I guess you could say break that everybody's having right now. Everybody's fishing. There's a lot of people getting into fishing, which is awesome to see because since the beginning, that's been my whole goal is to get more people in the fishing. So to see that people are out and getting fishing stuff and going fishing when we were actually pulling up we saw somebody walking out with a fishing rod too two, yeah two, two people boys taking two rods out of here i love it dad was with him dad take him fishing you don't know what's going to happen if you ever take some boy fishing do you know it <laughs> <laughs> might turn into a disease <laughs> yeah so we got some hooks i think we need to look at this but let's 
Let's wait until we find the live if bait. If we can find live bait, we're going to have to definitely come back and get some bobbers and some hooks because being bass fishermen that we is today, we don't have a lot of that kind of stuff around. So it could be down here. My camera keeps getting blurry for some reason. Please be it. Yep. Oh my God, what are these, dude? Look at this. I'll let you do the deed. These are the normal ones that they usually have, and then they have those like red wigglers. These are the night crawlers. Let's go ahead and pop one of these open. It looks like a bunch of little rat turds. Stick your finger in it, man. Why are you telling me to stick my finger in it? You stick your finger in it. <laughs> okay. Those it's are some pretty. Chunky bug. So uh, some. Some pretty big nasty worms but then they have these i've never seen these before in walmart what are these called dancing rascals the dancing rascal look at this this, is, this must be bill dance's worm oh i thought yo. they were i thought they were naming this after me the dancing rascal <laughs> yo another thing bill, <laughs> bill dance i'm calling you out you better respond to my instagram dm I, I sent bill dance a dm last week you sent bill dance a dm yeah now you're gonna fish with bill dance big red worms yep i feel like this is his pet name for his junk I really feel like that's Bill Dance's pet name for his junk, and he just put it on <laughs> his product. It's a dancing, <laughs> the dancing rascal. I'm so. sure when he goes home at night, he talks to his wife. He's like, "You ready for the dancing rascal?" Uh oh, those are some dancing rascals in there. Oh yeah, that's what you call Juicy. a dancing rascal. So what are you thinking? Do you, are you thinking the dancing? I feel like it, it wouldn't be a video without the dancing rascals, right? What is that? Oh, those are the. Oh, they have the glow worms too. Remember we filmed we filmed the green glow worms before, but. This one, fat, so juicy red, red worms. Red glow worms and green glow worms. Yeah, and then purple, the but purple. I've never seen the purple. What the heck is a purple worm? I've never seen the purple before. I always see the green and then they have like the red ones. But like the red ones are just like normal worms at the end of the day. And these don't have to be refrigerated either. Remember when we filmed that? So what are you thinking? We're filming each other, filming uh, each other. Um, <laughs> I'm let's thinking- the build dance because we never used them. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking these because we've never used them before. Have you guys ever used these too? If you if you tried these out, I've never seen them before. Leave a comment down below. Like I said, it's been a minute since I filmed the live bait video. So I don't know. Well, let's try these. Here's what I think we should do. We'll take these home. We'll get some bobbers. We'll go fishing with them. And at the end of the night, if we still have some left over, I'm going to ask your mom if she'll play with my big red worm. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I could always do is if we have leftovers, I can put them in my garden because they keep my garden good. All right. No, that could be another part of the vlog. Let's do that. So we'll get two. We'll get two. That's 60. 60 big red dancing rascals, whatever those things are. I need some bobbles over here. <laughs> what kind of bobbers are we going to get? I'm thinking, all right, so we got options. You know, Probably. I'm going to put my camera up here. Your don't, camera's gonna watch our camera doing our camera. You're watching your camera. Don't forget that. That'll be the last thing you want to do. Well, somebody had free GoPro. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking there just. What do you think about that? That's just like the basic. The basic basic phone bobber, but they got the plastic red bobbers. Are we gonna catch a bass or are we gonna catch a bluegill? Both. Everything. Everything that bites. That's, that's the glory of it. That's the glory of it. More than these? Yeah. No, 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 no. We just need three. Three's fine, all right? You want to get a dollar sixteen? Do you want right. to drive back here? Or you want yeah, to get I'd rather pay a dollar and not have to drive. <clears throat> now we need hooks. What kind of hooks are you going to hook with a worm? This one says for crickets here. I guess it's called a cricket. So this is what I was telling Big Steve. So we got these bobbers. We got two packs of them. This is the thing. We can go. There's a bunch of different options for hooks right now. We're fishing for everything. We're not just fishing for bass. We're going to fish for bluegill, whatever. This is the thing. We can go with like a standard, like smaller hook up there. But I'd rather go with these right here. As you guys can tell, you see how long they are? This is so when a bluegill eats it, it's gonna be easy to get out of his mouth because he can easily swallow that hook and you can't get pliers in a bluegill's mouth. Riddle me this, Mr. Fisherman. Yeah. Why are these hooks this steel color and all these hooks you keep talking about for panfish and stuff are gold? Dude, that's over, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's over my head. That's a if question for the viewers. The Pop a comment below. Like why, why, why are these gold? <laughs> panfish hooks gold. Why are these gold and why are those brown maybe the pan fish like the bling bling or we got bobbers we got that do we need any little clip on weights um yeah we do i think we got a problem with the split shots dude look at this their, their weights are all gone so that's not good do you have any split shots at the house hail to the no 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 so tell me what we got noah all right so i got a seeker with me I'm not showing you guys yet. It's a fishing rod, but I'm not showing you yet. I can't show you guys what I got until we get It is the quality. Two of the packs of worms, and I double bagged this too, just in case. The last thing we want is these worms swimming around the truck. And then we got the bobbers and everything in here. They did not have split shots, by the way. 
So now we're gonna have to figure something out. We got some like swivels that might add a little bit of weight. I don't know if that's gonna work. We're gonna go to the house. Can they see what I bought? I'm holding it higher than that. All right. Come on, man, I'm a professional. We're gonna go to the house and we're gonna see if we have, one, some weights, and two, if we can at least rig something up that might work better. But now we're just gonna go to the car, pack everything up, go back home, go out to the pond, rig everything up, try to catch a fish. Let's go ahead and get it. What the hell? <laughs> I'm tying a leader on to my braid with flow of carbon. What kind of knot you tying? You need a uni? That's all I know, man. You, you know need what? a uni for everything. You know what you're doing, man? No, you wanna do it for me? If you want I'm getting me getting old, I can't see so well anymore. <laughs> you want me to? We can do it on video. I don't even know if I've... Or you can do it. Hold you need a uni, guys. That's, that's, that's the deal right there. This might be your best chance of beating me is my knot break. <laughs> you may not be able to land the fish. Might work to your advantage over here, Noah. There you go. And you cut the tag in, you're good. Cut the tag in. I'm surprised you remember how to do that knot, man. I know, it's been so long since my son took me fishing. <laughs> so dad, we had a problem with the split shot weight. So this is his idea, by the way. This ain't mine. I don't know if it's a good a idea. Gym. But look what he's trying to do. So there's no split shot weights. So we got some of these barrel swivels and he's gonna put a barrel. I just feel like it's not heavy enough, right? I don't know, I mean, it could help. I just don't know if it's gonna help that much. It's gonna work, so pay attention. <laughs> this is the Daddy Van Dam tips. Yeah. We should make a segment. We should make this like a is graphic. Van Dam don't even know about we, it. We should me? we should make a graphic for the videos where it's like Daddy Van Dam tips and it's like a logo thing. Tips and tricks. <laughs> Daddy Van Dam tips and tricks. So let me show you what I did. All I did was run the line through the swivel on both ends, and then just tied it on this one end so the swivel stays on there. Dude, that's got some weight to it. What a genius. And I'm just gonna put my hook right here, a little bit below it, with my little dangly langly worm. And then you're gonna put it. the bobber, like probably what? I don't know, it depends on if we're fishing up shallow or out deep, so. Yeah, we gotta figure out. We're fishing for brim or bass? Both. Oh, I think you should have to call your shot, like pool, but. I don't know, I guess we'll see when we get down there. <laughs> call it. Catfish, so catfish. I don't even know if there's catfish in that lake. There's gotta be catfish. Maybe? I don't, know. I don't think they'll eat a night crawler though. Catfish always eat anything, man. So you guys know I bought a rod in Walmart and I've had one of these before, but this is the old Zebco 33. It's just basic as it gets. This is the 33 authentic. It's the one that we had before. I went ahead and bought another one. I think it was like 20 bucks. The one I had before was just old and I just was like, man, might as well get a new one, especially for this video. If we're gonna be filming some more little live day videos like this, so I was like, let's go ahead and buy a brand new Zebco 33. We're all good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna keep this line on here. I don't, I don't think there's any need to put any other line. Um, but I'm gonna put it through the eyelids. I'm gonna go ahead and rig everything up. We didn't have any split shots, did we? You didn't ever find any? Nope. That's fine, though. I might end up doing the barrel swivel kind of how he did too, just to add a little bit of weight. And then we'll put a bobber on and then some of those hooks as well. So that's what we're gonna do really quick. And then we're gonna go back down to All right, guys, so we got the bobber. We got the little split shot or the whatever the, the barrel swivel and then we have uh the little tiny hook and that's on the zebco 33 my dad's over here with his combo he just has like a little basic spinning combo now look at this look at how many brim beds and how many brim are over here that is insane i don't know if you guys can you know what would be cool actually let's try this that's how i sent you a picture too look at all the brim right there son my sunglasses are a little dirty but they can kind of see it that is insane how many beds are right there. We literally didn't even that? need bobbers if we were gonna try to catch some of these. Can you zoom in with that camera? Look how many brim are sitting in each bed right there. Yeah, they're just swimming around everywhere. Look at this baby bass patrolling the outside edge right there. Oh yeah, that is a bass. Huh, I guess we just gotta get started. So I guess we just put some worms on and start smashing. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of unfair. <laughs> yeah, I know, I was about to say, this is just insane. So are we gonna run some sort of challenge or are you just thinking, just catch them. I don't know. The last time I ran a challenge with you, I ended up running a tattoo. So <laughs> I'm not so sure about doing a challenge. Let's just try to catch, just them, catch them. All right. And let me get back in the rhythm of fishing before I challenge you. So tell them, uh, tell them what about the little combo that you're using. This is just an old combo we had laying around. That's a Akuma reel and a Aurora Abu Garcia. Look, this is just garage stuff. I don't want to say junk. Just garage stuff I had laying around. So we rigged it up with a little hook swivel on here for a little weight, which I. I see that we don't need now. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my bobber off, throw a little worm on there, 
catch some little bluegill and brim, whatever they are. All right, guys, so it's time to get the Dancing Rascals by my boy Bill Dance and give them a try. This is actually going to be interesting. There's so many fish out there. There's a mixture of bass and bluegill all up on those beds. We got these awesome worms right here. Look how active they are. It's actually pretty active. Look at that. Worms looking awesome. We're going to go ahead and dig one of these up. Did you take your bobber off? I took my bobber off because I don't know if I see a need for a bobber right now. You're going to have that worm. Yeah, I don't what think. What are these things called? They're called dancing rascals. What did you just do, you nasty boy? <laughs> just flick nasty worm guts all over me. Dude, there's seriously zero need for this bobber. I'm taking my bobber off, at least for right now. And then if we start casting out in the middle for the bass, thinking, yeah, that's a big worm. We're just gonna take a little piece of this. You got one already? Oh my God, that was ridiculous. You dropped, <laughs> look how big that thing is too. Oh my God. All right guys, one thing that some of you guys don't know, I think a lot of you guys do, but my dad is actually allergic to fish. We talk about this every single time, but there's always new viewers watching. Save he, my worm, would you? He actually cannot touch the fish. Like if, if the slime guts get, we need to sit down and make a video about that. We keep saying that, but we never do. But this is the thing. He can't touch them at all. So every fish that he catches, I actually have to take off the hook. Look at that bluegill, man. Look how look at the detail on that fish. He's actually a beautiful it's fish. A isn't one. He? It's a big one. Give him a little toss back. There's so many. This is gonna be like every single little pop. All right, here we go, guys. This is gonna be my first fish. We're gonna catch him real quick. Oh my god, there's so many. All right, watch this. Oh, there's bass everywhere too, man. No way! I caught a bass, dude. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, he barely got him on the corner of his mouth. You caught a baby bass fishing for a brim. Yeah, dude, that's what I was saying. We never know. You know you got the big bass energy. That's how you got that big bass energy, guys. Can't even catch a brim. So for now, if we're catching oh. brim, I'm already one up on you. I dropped him. Picking to be two up on you. Look how small that bass is. <laughs> that's funny. So we got a brim and a bass now. You see him? That's a bass. Oh, it is a bass. He bit it that time. You're kidding me. Yeah, it's a bass. That's how he's hooked. Oh, what? What'd you do? You got hooked in the gill somehow. You come off? Oh, no, he didn't. What? No, it isn't. Oh. He bit you the first time. Look at that, guys. We've we've dropped in where we've caught three fish, and two of them are bass. So look at that, guys. Third fish today. Two bass, one bluegill, which is awesome. Beautiful little one. It's bigger than my last. Literally, there's so many fish that are around these beds. They're just everywhere. All right, so we both caught three fish now. We both caught a bass. Now this is what I'm thinking. So we caught some fish so far. He's actually just moved to the bobber on it, but I think we want to do a challenge now. So the first person to catch a fish, we're going to cast at the same exact time. First person to catch a fish wins best out of three. We're going to do it three times. Three times. Three times, best out of three. First person to catch or, a fish. Okay. Or I mean two, two times maybe. Three. Yeah, best two out of three. You, you want to do that? It. All right, let's go. go. Let, me, let me rig up real quick because I got to get another... Another worm on my rod. So with that being said, I think we're gonna put a juicy worm. So I got mine rigged up, decent little piece on there. He's got his rig, dude, you got a big clomping juicy piece on there. And he's got his bobber on. So I guess we're gonna try. Let's go ahead and line up. So we're gonna three cast out of, best two out of three. We're gonna cast at the same time. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right, let's go. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Dude, the wind's blowing my bobber like mad. Oh, you're about to get eaten. That fish is about to eat it. Oh, no! Oh my gosh, I'm right by that bluegill. Oh, oh, oh! There he is! No! Yeah, baby! Oh my god. Oh my Come gosh. Alright, that's fair. That's I fair just game. Took a shot in the dark somewhere we Dude, that's the biggest one you so That's Daddy Van Dam 1. Daddy Van Dam 1. Oh! Oh! Hey, oh! Hey, hey. <laughs> He's pissing everywhere. Damn. Damn. He's pissing everywhere. Look at that. Oh, he's letting it rip. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. One to zero. Daddy Van Dam got the first one. All right. Round two. So if you catch one, you pretty much beat me in this mini challenge. If I catch one first this time, it's game over. Mm -hmm. If you catch it, then we got to go for round three. Yep. All right. Let me know when you're ready. So you pick your spot and you tell me when. All right. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Oh my I gosh. Totally I totally one. screwed up too. I need some weight. You're like getting yours out where the fresh ones are. You're gonna catch them right here. Totally yes. My bobber in. Yes. No, no, yes. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, he, he, he ain't gonna come off. He ain't gonna no come way. off. Look at that. One, one, one. All right. That was fair. That was fair game. So 
that's one to one. One to one. Three fish challenge. One to one. Dude, these bluegill are insanely. Dude, these are like the prettiest little bluegills I've ever seen in my life. Oh, okay. On the race of the three, we both have one. All right. <laughs> so this is the final one round. Catch a fish the fastest wins. Is the winner. Period. Right. Yep. Go. Oh. Wait. Oh God! I just pulled it away from him. Oh my off. God. I had him. Oh my him. God! There was one chasing me right there. Oh no. No 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 no. No 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 no. That was not a good cast. You're gonna get eaten there. Come on, fishy, 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 hook me up. Final round. We're both in the strike zone. Oh, there he is. Oh, you kidding Daddy me. Daddy Van Dam for the win. All sucker. right, all right, unless I catch one real quick and throw him on the bank before you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you won that fair and square. Daddy you Van won that Dan fair and square. Win. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, are you good? Yeah. Did he get you? Hold him down. Yeah, man. I'll hold him over here. Hey, as many as I've lost to you, I deserve to win one. All right, that's fair. That was fair game. All right, so Daddy Van Dam won that first one. He got that two to one W. He caught the first one, I caught the second one. He ended up coming in clutch with the third one. So we're coming up with another challenge. It's gonna be the first person to catch a bass, right? To catch a bass. Oh my God, you got a bee on your head. It's like one of those mini bees. Oh my God. Oh, he's, did you see that? No, I think you're just trying to swap me. No, no, I'm actually serious. I had that sweet meat, that's why they <laughs> So first person to catch a bass, but if you catch a bluegill, you lose. That's gonna be hard. I, I feel like I'm just gonna destroy myself right off the bat off of that one. That means you gotta not fish right around here. I don't know, or I can sight fish one. Okay. All right, let's, yeah. let's get it. All right, while well, Big Steve is rigging up, I'm not gonna cast yet, because I'd be cheating. But I am gonna scout out and see if I see any fish. There's so many bluegills swimming around here. But yet, yeah, I've seen a few bass, but the problem right now is the wind just picked up and it's putting so much chop on the water and I can't really tell what's a bass and what's a bluegill right now. This is, uh, gosh, see there's three bluegill right there. See, when we first walked up, we caught two bass before we even caught two bluegill, which is kind of crazy. But there has to be some more bass swimming around here. All right, I'm good. You got your bobber on? Dude, you're going deep, man. That's like a five foot leader. We're going fishing for bass, bass only. If you catch a brim, you're out. If you instant catch, loser. If you catch a brim, you instantly lose. Yeah, I'm walking over here too. I'm getting away from these bluegill beds. Dude, this could be this could be your win or lose right here. He's walking with you. Oh my gosh, this is a brim too. Yeah, that's gotta be a bad thing. Really? Crazy. He it's a brim. <laughs> You oh, lost. The brim. You lost. All right. I, I guess we're one to one. Just like that. <laughs> no uh, I had a feeling you were like excited about a bite. I'm like, I want to be too excited yet until you see it. Well, one to one now on the challenges. What should we do now? I mean, should it be the same one? I guess just first person to catch a bass. Not, not the knockout like that. If you catch a bluegill, you catch one. But whoever catches a bass first, I think that's what we need to do. That is what we that's need to do. Here, right? And I'm going to start walking. I'm going to try to find one. I want to find a bass and I just want to like sight fish them. I think that's going to be the best option. I feel like some of this like slop on the bank, and it's got like a few sticks here and there. I think that's, you know, where a bass would hang. Dude, there are so many bass and I see another one. Hey, you see this right here? Watch this, man. This is how you're about to lose right here. <laughs> yeah. Watch this. This is how it's about to go down. I see a bass right there. And he ate it. He ate it, dude. You have to admit that was so good. That was so good. That was so, dude. That there couldn't have been a better way to win this full challenge. <laughs> there he goes. I'm gonna let him flop in. You gotta admit that that was pretty impressive. That was pretty impressive. I flipped it perfect, and he came up and just rolled on it. Pretty fish right there. That's a W. So I, I won two of the three challenges. You won the first one. Oh my gosh. Let's go. That was that was the best way to win that challenge right there. It couldn't have been better.